Prop 45. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, and an absolutely great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see, you go into newsletters, you see the opening call right there. You get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can get the six months, you can get the year, you get the month. If they work for you, that's awesome. You just continue it. If for some reason it doesn't work for you on the 29th day, folks, you just tell us, hey, listen, it didn't work for us, you get your money back. And on top of that, Basil has approximately 12 archives out there so that you can really see how Basil looks at the market each and every day and how he rides that wave. Basil Chapman, welcome back, man. How you doing? I'm doing well, Tom. How are you? Good. Do you have a good time? I really did. In fact, uh, this, uh, we went to uh, visit a really good friend of my wife who went to, uh, uh, they went to medical school together way back. And she lives in London, and we went to visit them. And then we went down to the uh, south part of England, which we've never been to. It sounded like Boston because we were in uh, uh, Dorchester. Uh, where was it? It was Dorchester, Weymouth, and Portland. I mean, wow. All the areas around the Boston area. But it was so terrific and really beautiful. You drive in the countryside and the different colors of the farms, the, you know, the greens and the yellows, are just it was really beautiful. And along the almost all the uh, side roads, they have a little hedge that grows along the, the sidewalk on both sides. Okay. So it's, like, so it's like this little mini protection part that you just keep going. And it's really very beautiful and it was lovely there. We're on the Jurassic Coast where uh, that's some of the, uh, the dinosaurs, et cetera, where it was very, very interesting and very different to vacations we've taken before. And of course, I was looking at the market. I managed to do one of the shows live. Oh, no, I um, know. I know. You're a trooper, man. No doubt. Your <laughs> wife, it must have been awesome seeing someone you went to school with. Because it's just like that, right? It's just like old times when you see someone you haven't seen for 30 years, which is amazing. Right. And this is, well, this is, uh, they were at medical school together and they used to study together. And uh, cool. so, uh, you know, they've gone different different directions. Um, and uh, her friend landed up in London, been there for a very long time. We landed up here. But it was very nice and very good to hear them together talking. And it was, it was a lot of fun. Nice. Well, welcome yeah. back, man. Thank let's, you. Very let's much. ride this wave. Where are we going? So, this is interesting. You know, there's a pattern I talk about. It's, it's this lowercase h. I call it the dreaded h. Because if you come straight down, I'll show this chart right here. If you come straight down and then you make this arch formation and fail at the first or second peak, peak A or a peak B, and then you come back to the low, but you, t you don't break the left side low. It means you can have a good rally, but you could go from the h pattern to a lowercase m pattern. That's the one that better not break that left side low because that could be quite serious. So here we are, 32,937 in the Dow was that, that very sharp four-day slide from the 1st of May at 34,257. Then it bounced and it failed and it came back, but it didn't take out that 32,937 low. That was about six, seven sessions ago, and then rallied again. And now we're pulling back, and we're going to see where this goes. It's on the 200-period moving average. That's not the point. The point that I wanted to make was that from the low that was made in October, and we're very lucky, we went long the, the, right at the low. Uh, so we're still holding those posi the long positions. But what my contention has been is that if we are able, and this is why I always like very much to be able to time highs and lows, because if you get, get that, when the market eventually has this digestive phase, you out of that, you, you, you've already got a good cushion. So, you know, talking about it here, 28,660, my contention has been that on every big bad news event over the period of months to come, that's what I was, I was projecting out, the, if we were able to get in low enough, every time there's a pullback, if it comes from this higher level up around about the 34,000 level, it means that you've got a good cushion. And here we are once again, you've got this debt crisis coming up, but we don't know yet if it's going to be a crisis, but there's a cushion. So that to me is a good sign. But on the very short term, I'm a little cautious, but now look at this. So, you know, in my work, I always like to look for uh, peak Ds. If I get a buy signal, which is upgraded to a buy mode, it should give you at least 
four higher peaks. Well, all of a sudden, we got to this peak C uh, two sessions ago, and today we're pulling back. This is in the, in the S&P. So I'm not sure. I don't quite understand this because the technicals are still pretty strong. Big sh it's a quite a bit, bit of a pullback today. I don't know how we can squeak to the 4212 area to be able to make that leg D, but I'm watching it very closely because if you look at the, this is the S&P. So the Dow is ready for a pullback. It's already in this digestive phase. S&P made a new recovery high just the other day. In fact, it's almost a yearly high uh, for, for, for the last part, past 12 months. Now look at the QQQ. I'm always looking for D. Well, it made that D at 33, at 338.67. Technicals are still good, but it's a pretty sharp pullback. And But the flat stochastic at 93 says it's either going to be a vicious decline using tremendous power and speed downside, or else we're just going to be choppy choppy for the next uh, three, four, five sessions going into the end of the uh, end of the month. So I'm watching this very closely because everything's set up to be cautious. We've been become quite cautious. And there's a stock I spoke to you about oh, quite a few weeks ago. It's called Symbiotic Inc. End-to-end -end, uh, artificial intelligence, robotic warehouse automation systems. We're in uh, we're we're in the twenty uh, the twenty ones. It's here. It is at a uh, thirty one. It's done very nice. We've taken a look. Nice. Off. And it's also, look at this kind of a double top here. It has gone to this, it's almost the same as the spy in leg, maybe C, E. But I'm, I'm saying let's be a little bit cautious. There's another one that we had, which is bots. This is the, this is very interesting. This is the Global X Robotics and AI ETF. We've had it um, for some time. It's now 26, 29, took a little bit of profit. And here it is at the peak F. So everything says to me that we're in an area that makes it, the market's somewhat vulnerable, but if you look at weekly charts, the weekly charts have done very well and are still holding very well. And that includes, the, let me go back to the QQQ because this is going to be really fascinating. Look, the technicals here in the QQ weekly chart, this is the MACD. Look at the distance between the two moving averages. That is very powerful. Look at the stochastic flat at 95%, 96%. That's really good. Um, and the nine period moving average is way over the 14 and the price is way over. So I, I'm looking at this and I'm saying we're ready for some kind of a digestive moment. But I, not that the charts are not saying yet that there could be a smash to the downside. It's saying be a little bit careful here and be very selective. We are still looking at some stocks, individual stocks that are doing well. So I think this is a period where um, raising some cash, is, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I'm just saying, let the market tell me. We've got a, we're a little cautious right now, but the, the weekly has, has improved in, in the three major indexes. And the monthly chart is, oh, look at this. Just as we're going to the break, look at the monthly chart. Finally broke out of that resistance in leg C. It isn't very strong, but at least it's broken out. So there are good signs, but I think we're ready for some digestive phase. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You see Basil's opening call right on the right-hand side. Hit it, and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis.